In this video, we're going to take a look at some of these send edits and scripting changes in the latest version of command. So to get to the script editor, we're going to press the editor option. We're going to come down to the Lewis script console, and we'll go ahead and change the scale of things a little bit to make it a little bit easier to work with. To demonstrate some of these commands, we're going to be using this little destroyer right here. This is the Charles Adam DGG2, and we'll experiment with it directly. The first thing I'd like to demonstrate is the ability to get the selected unit that we are using at this given time. So in this case, I'm going to use unit, which is just going to be a variable, and we'll say send edit selected units dot units, and we're simply going to ask for the first one in that list. Now to show that this works, we're simply going to print the value of unit so that you're able to go ahead and see exactly what it says once that comes out. So I'll come up here, I'll disable echo input, press run, and you can see that it grabs the name of the unit as well as the GUID of that particular unit. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate one of the new commands, and that is the ability to change the side of a unit. To change the side of the unit, we're simply going to type in send edit. We're going to type in set unit side. We're going to create a table. We are going to use a unit selector. In this case, I'm going to say take the unit from side blue, comma. The name of the unit is simply going to be the name of the unit that we've already selected at this time, but this can be any name for that unit or something that's on that side. We're now going to type in new side, indicating what side we'd like to change the unit to. In this case, we're going to turn it to red. Go ahead and close that off. Now we have the ability to take this unit and switch it to the opposite side. Let's try it out. Make a quick change there. Perfect. So now if we switch over to the other team, you'll notice that the unit has now switched teams. If we wanted to, we can even use this command to go ahead and switch it back from that team onto the previous team, just like that. The next thing we're going to go ahead and take a look at is the ability to edit the Doctrine WRA using Lua. Now, this is a little bit more involved because not only are you going to have to select the particular unit, you're also going to have to be very, very careful how you dial in the specific WRA changes. So the command to do this is going to be send edit, set Doctrine WRA, and then we're going to go ahead and use two parts to our script here. The first is going to be a list describing the unit that we're changing as well as a doctrine we'd like to change. The second part is going to simply be what we want to change it to. So let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to simply type in the side. In this case, we're going to be interested in blue. We're going to go ahead and say the GUID. In this case, we're going to use unit.guid, which is simply that unit that we've selected a few minutes ago. We're going to select the target type. This refers to the particular target that you're trying to engage. In this case, we'll select something simple like aircraft carriers. A complete list of all the target types is available with the command Lua documentation page that you can quickly search for on the internet that will provide you with all examples, and we'll take a look at that a little later. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to dial in the weapon ID, which is going to be the specific weapon that we're going to be defining the doctor, I should say, the WRA2. In this case, I'm going to say the 1611, which is going to refer to the harpoon weapon. Afterwards, we're going to close off that table and then put a comma. The comma now says that take the first part of this command and go ahead and identify what we want to change. Now we're going to define what we want to change it to. In this case, this is going to give us a couple different options as far as what we can do here. This would be the different components of the WRA. If we're actually going to quickly take a look at that. We'll press F9, WRA, open one of the options up. In this case, we'll go ahead and grab that harpoon. That would be the weapons per salvo, the shooters per salvo, the automatic firing range, as well as if the weapon should be used in self-defense. Let's say as an example, we want to go ahead and change things to keep it nice and simple. Let's say we want to use a max. Let's say that we'd like to use inherit the uh, existing one uh, the RWRA from previous. Let's go ahead and now say we want to use a percentage of our maximum range for self-defense. In this case, we can do something like 50 of max. 75 of max or 25 of max. And I would simply say, we'd like to go ahead and use whatever that is of the maximum range. In this case, we want to use 50% of maximum range. Now I can simply do a comma and I can go ahead and type in exactly what I'd like to do for that particular piece. Now, once you've gone ahead and completed what you'd like to change it to, it's simply a matter of closing everything off with a parenthesis. Now, when we come up here and press the run button, if there were any error message that popped up, that would simply mean we were not successful in changing that WRA. If we take a look at the WRA of the ship now, we'll notice that ship carrier between a zero and 225,000 tons, you'll now notice it says use all weapons against this type, and it also says use 50% of max range, which is exactly what we set it to over here on the right. The last command we're going to take a look at for this particular video for Lua is the ability to add weapons into a magazine. So to do this, you're simply going to go ahead and type in send edit, add weapon to unit magazine, then we're simply going to define the unit. So I'm going to do left parenthesis and a curly bracket. I'm going to say saw unit name equals unit dot name. 
If you recall, this is the unit that we've acquired just a few moments ago. I'm now gonna say the weapon database ID that I wanna go ahead and change. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and say 1611, which will be the harpoon missile. I'm gonna type in how many I wanna add. In this case, let's add one, keep it simple. And then we can also define the weapon max if we need to. In this case, there's already an existing magazine in here, which is gonna have a preset weapon max. So now if I click on my unit here, go ahead and take a look at my magazines. You'll notice if I go to my magazines for the Mark 11 Mod Zero Twin Rail, I have 12 out of 42 RGM 84Ds. So if I run our code, we'll initially get an error. I'll quickly type fix my typo. All right, typo is repaired. Let's go ahead and press run. Now, if we take a look at our new unit, we should have a different number of Harpoon missiles. As we can see, we now have nine out of 42 as opposed to eight out of 42 Harpoon missiles now ready to go. This is a very, very powerful function, which gives you the ability to quickly populate entire scenarios worth of different weapons if you need to, depending on what you're trying to achieve. The last thing we're going to take a look at is the ability to print out the discrete items in a course of unit. In this case, we're going to use the unit command to find out more information about a given unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say unit equals send edit get unit. And we'll go ahead and use the side selector as before. And we'll go ahead and use the GUID for that particular unit. Remember, this only works for the unit we have presently selected. Go ahead and print the unit to make sure that worked correctly. Looks good. And now we'll go ahead and demonstrate how you can print out the course of that unit by simply adding dot course. So now when I run it, you're going to get yourself an entire table which will provide you each individual waypoints of that particular path. If you were looking for a specific part of that course, say I want the second waypoint, I can simply add in a table selector, press run, and now we'll go ahead and select that specific waypoint as well as what type of waypoint that is. As you can see, these new features in Lua give you a lot more control over your scenarios and make it so that you can select entire things and quickly populate whole components directly.